Finance departments seek to manage three main parameters. That is the management of financial risks, the management of financial instruments, and the management of cash, liquidity, and payments. SAP TRM is used to manage financial instruments and to manage financial risks associated with financial transactions. The central component within SAP TRM is the transaction manager. The transaction manager provides the instruments for processing financial transactions from capturing the deal through to posting data to financial accounting. The transaction manager has full capabilities to manage a wide range of financial product types, such as money market product types, for example, fixed term deposits and deposits at notice, foreign exchange transactions, such as spot and forward transactions, derivatives, such as interest rate swaps, debt, securities, such as stocks and bonds, and commodities. There are two related subcomponents within the transaction manager, which are exposure management and hedge management. Exposure management enables users to manage exposure items for both open commodity items and open currency items. Hedge management allows users to map the hedging of commodity price risks using the corresponding hedging transactions in the transaction manager. The second goal of finance departments is to manage financial risks. There are three an analyzers that the system uses to support the trading activities that are happening in the transaction manager. The credit risk analyzer measures, analyzes, and controls counterparty default risk. Flexible limit management allows users to set limits and also conduct online monitoring and be able to run a variety of reports on these limits and their utilization. This allows users or managers the ability to identify any credit risks in a quick and timeliest manner. The market risk analyzer offers extensive position evaluations for example, mark-to-market valuations. Users can also calculate risk and return figures such as exposures, future values, sensitivities, and value at risk. Users are able to monitor both existing and fictitious transactions, and valuations can be based on both real and simulated market prices. The portfolio analyzer measures the performance of an investment portfolio, that is the exact return on investment. The portfolio analyzer will take this return on investment result and compare it to prescribed targets and then breaks down the overall performance into its component parts by attributing the individual portfolio position to the total result. In order to fulfill the third financial goal of managing cash flows, liquidity and payments. SAP Financial Supply Chain Management has other modules such as SAP Cash and Liquidity Management, SAP In-house Cash, and SAP Bank Communication Management. These modules work closely with SAP TRM. For example, Cash and Liquidity Management shows the users when excess funds will be available and they can make a decision to invest the excess funds in order to optimize cash flows. Conversely, a deficit in the cash flows alerts the users to find alternative sources of cash, such as borrowing from other financial institutions. SAP TRM is easily integrated to other SAP modules, such as the general ledger, and this allows a seamless posting process. Through SAP NetWeaver, it is also possible to interface SAP TRM with other technology platforms such as rate feeds and dealing platforms. So ladies and gentlemen, this is a brief overview of the SAP TRM system. There are many benefits 
of having the SAP TRM system manage the financial assets of an organization. SAP is fully compliant to accounting standards such as the international accounting standards. So it ensures that the company complies with accounting and regulatory reporting requirements. The company is able to align their capital more closely with changing market conditions and legal requirements because of the integration of SAP TRM to modules such as the SAP cash management. The segregation of duties and other controls such as limit management enhance the accountability and transparency of financial and profitability data. The business is able to make more informed business decisions through things like online limit management and the various reports that are available to users. SAP TRM also improves operational efficiency and makes it easier to manage risks more effectively. In conclusion, I hope that as a student you have a clearer understanding of how SAP TRM works with other submodules within SAP FSCM to effectively and efficiently manage the financial asset portfolio of an organization. I also endeavored to show you how the transaction manager, which is the central component in TRM, and the risk analyzers are well equipped to manage financial transactions and the risks associated with them. Let us proceed to the next lesson where I will demonstrate in SAP how we capture a typical TRM transaction within SAP. Thank you.